Hey Dukes, last week on March 8th was International Women's Day, and a lot of students took part by wearing red and also honoring the important women in your life. So I want you to extend this moment to you guys to think about the important women who have impacted your life. Good morning, New York. These are your YTV daily announcements for Tuesday, March 14th. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Cassie. Hey, U.S. history students. Research papers are almost due. Remember that the Learning Commons is staffed with faculty who are eager to help. Stop by the LC to get help from Ms. Strom, Mr. Immel, or one of our social studies faculty supervisors. Do you want to help your community next year? The application for ambassadors is now available online. Find the application on the ambassadors webpage under the clubs and activities link on the York homepage. Applications are only online and will remain available until Friday, March 24th. Questions? See Ms. Zelaski or Mrs. Julian in YSS. Reminder, if you are applying for student council, you must turn in your application to Ms. Fleming's mailbox by this Friday. It's Women's History Month. In 1923, family planning pioneer Margaret Sanger defies the Comstock Law and opens the first legal physician-run birth control clinic in the U.S. In 1965, a Supreme Court ruling, Griswold v. Connecticut, legalized birth control for married couples in the U.S. These moments in history were, and still are, revolutionary for women. Come support the Animal Behavior Club and local shelters by heading over to Pi 5 tomorrow. 20% of all profits will go to the club and help support local shelters. Feel free to meet us in room 8374 to walk over together. Hope to see you there. Come join, join Braces for a Cure at our first meeting this Wednesday after school in room A123. We'll be making bracelets and discussing our first hospital visit. Do you want to make the world a better place? Do you believe we can contribute to a healthy planet? Do you want to use your knowledge to create a sustainable environment? Imagine your future in natural resources and environmental science. Sciences at the University of Illinois. A representative from U of I will be here tomorrow, March 15th, to, rep to present at Garden Club after school in room A373. Please come with your questions about how you can learn to make the world a better place. Student Council will be hosting a Dukes and Dialogue discussion tomorrow during fourth period in form room A294. The purpose of Dukes and Dialogue is to engage in an open discussion about issues facing our community and country and to create a plan of action to resolve these problems. The topic for this meeting will be immigration. All are welcome. Bass Fishing Club will be meeting after school tomorrow in room S125, the driver's ed room. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. Casper. Attention, hungry students. Tomorrow, the York Food Court will be offering a very special St. Patrick's celebration meal. Hand-carved corned beef, potatoes, cabbage, carrots, fruit choice, milk, and a jello cup. It's available in the pasta line area. Come enjoy this delicious meal. Do you want to see one of York's favorite staff members dress up as a leprechaun? Then come vote during your lunch period on Wednesday and Thursday, March 15th and 16th in the comments. You also can donate and have gold coins delivered to a friend on St. Patrick's Day. You must know your friend's second period class if you want to have it delivered on time. And those have been your YTV daily announcements for Tuesday, March 14th. I'm Cassie. And I'm Steph. Happy Pi Day, York.